What's going on guys? Chad here at Marine Max Jupiter. Today we're doing a walkthrough video on this all new Sea Ray 250 SDX. We just got it in. Uh, starting off on the transom here, first thing you notice, white 300 V8 Mercury outboard. You can also get this engine in black. The white is gonna be uh, the upgrade for this boat. Next thing you notice is that we have the dune interior and dune sea decking. The sea decking uh, goes to transom and then just forward to the transom as well because the seat will actually slide back. Uh, feels great underneath your feet, super comfortable, doesn't get too hot. Now, this dune interior, you can also get it in stone or white. The dune looks great, classic look. We have some stitching here, the Sea Ray uh, logo as well. Now, the seat, as I mentioned, can slide back or forward. Right now it's in the forward position. Uh, it gives you more space in the back here. With the outboards trimmed down, you notice you're gonna have tons of space back here, like a big platform. Great for if you're pulled up the sandbar, uh, plenty of space back here. You have your boarding ladder over on the starboard. Plenty of room for activities. Now, when this seat's forward, it actually reveals a storage compartment, which I'm gonna lift up. It's got some drains in it as well. You can never have, have storage on a boat. Uh, off the back here, other things you get, you have two speakers in the back, some charging ports here, 12 volt, and uh, another port here for phone chargers, three cup holders. This boat actually even has a, a flag pole holder. Most people like to rock their uh, flags. You can even have an American flag there. Now, as you're walking into the boat, you'll have your freshwater sprayer, which is conveniently located right by the beach boarding ladder. Then you have the sandbar, hop up here and spray off the sand off your feet with this, and it just tucks away there. Now, I will show you how this works. So we have the backrest in the forward position. You can also slide this aft. If you want it to face forward, there's a lever on the side. Pull the lever and then this easily slides back on this track. So you can see, now that we have it aft, this is gonna give more space throughout the cockpit. Maybe you're doing a sunset cruise, doing some entertaining, plenty of space, plenty of seating here. Got your backrest in that position. You have storage underneath the seats. Simply lift up, it'll reveal some of the storage. You have the leg for your cockpit table. Dedicated storage for the cockpit table down there as well. Even with those two uh, dedicated storage spots for the cockpit table and the mount, still plenty of room underneath the seats. As well as more, more room for storage there. That actually even has an insert if you wanted to put a cooler in there as well, and it'll hold it in place. Underneath the seats back here, you have a LED lighting strip. So when it's darker out, Turn that on, lights up the boat, looks beautiful, really fun to entertain for sunset cruise. Also, underneath where we're sitting, see here, cup holder, there's cup holders integrated uh, underneath all the seats. No excuses to have your uh, cup on the deck, everyone's got a cup holder. On the starboard side here, compartment for your battery switch, very easy to access and just tucks away, which is flush. You have your fusion radio back here, as well as one up at the helm. So if you're hanging out in the back of the boat, you don't have to go all the way up to the helm to access that. Also, this area has this door that you can close off. Now that's nice to close off if you're cruising, you have some smaller kids or maybe some uh, smaller pets. You wanna keep them up here in the cockpit. You wanna feel secure, you can close that off. Now, just like, just like I mentioned before, plenty of storage. Here's another storage compartment in deck. Drain at the bottom as well. There's two gas springs on this. It was uh, very easy to hold up. And also it's gonna hold it in place. No shaking, it's not gonna fall down on you. Now, underneath on the port side, you have your battery charging system here as well. So you can plug in Keep your batteries nice and charged. 
Now, this, the option for the white tower. You can also get this tower in black, black bimini top. This can be collapsed as well. You see off the tower on both sides, you have this lever, this lever back, this tower will actually drop. And then with these uh, buttons here, you can collapse the bimini top if you need to make it underneath the bridge. Now, moving forward, another, this is actually a lockable index storage compartment. Lift that up. You'll see we have the cockpit table down here uh, that's antique, as well as we have the covers down there, plenty of storage. Now, on both sides, you have the captain's chair, as well as the co-pilot's chair. These have the lounger. This can be either in the aft position or push forward. You can actually push both of them forward at the same time. And that'll just create very large entertainment area here. Or if you're driving the boat, I'd recommend having it in that position. Now, the captain's chairs actually both third as well. So whether you want, whether you want to sit and drive or lift up the bolster, that's going to give you more room here so to drive at the console, stand up and drive. Also, you can sit on this. That's going to bring you above the height of the windshield so you'll get more of a breeze in your face. You have your Mercury throttles over here. Ignition, more charging ports, all your switches. The fusion radio I mentioned before that's uh, flush mounted into the dash. Horn, two cup holders. So both the captain and the co-pilot have a cup holder up here. Simrad electronics, of course. Nice acrylic dash in the back. Really uh, beautiful. As well as off the head compartment, you have another smaller storage compartment, another cup holder. These fusion speakers are throughout the boat. You see one here. There's another one underneath the seat. They've been uh, throughout the cockpit of the boat. They're also up in the bow, so no matter where you are in the boat, you can still enjoy your music. I'm going to open up this head compartment. This is uh, unique to this 250 SDX. Really cool. So not only do you have a head down there, uh, you actually have basically a mini cabin. Uh, you can use that as storage. We got our prop down there because this boat just uh, arrived. Above the toilet, you can actually drop that cushion down. It'll go over the head and create a bigger pad. Maybe you want to put some smaller children down there. Uh, or you just want some more storage space, that's great for that. Uh, moving forward, this is more of a port side walk around. This uh, glass can be closed. You can also close the door. That'll seal off any wind from coming into the cockpit area. Or you leave it open, it'll create a nice draft through this area when you're moving. Uh, moving up to the bow of the boat, plenty of seating up here. As I mentioned before, you still have your fusion speakers up here, still enjoying the music. You have two cup holders on both sides, as well as another charging port up here. Uh, you can actually get a filler cushion here as well, to seal us off. Storage area underneath this front seat. You have more LED lighting up here. It's an LED lighting strip. You can either get in white or blue, that's throughout the boat. Then all the way forward, you're going to have your beach boarding ladder. Underneath that, you have uh, dedicated storage for your anchor. You also get another fresh water sprayer up here. So plenty of creature comforts. This is a great boat to take through the inner coastal, near coastal, take it to the sandbar. Great for going to the restaurants. It's got the comforts you're looking for. If you want to come see this boat, come by Marine Max Jupiter, call us today. Don't forget, that's for Chad.